Well, Marshall, it's not a great de it's not a great departure from what we've seen before. Of course, the the R18 has always had the V6 powertrain, a unique architecture with the turbocharger on top and the intakes on the bottom, sort of reversed from what most people are used to. This year, we have a four-liter powertrain, four-liter engine in the car. Um, different than previous, um, we're no longer restricted to boost limits and or air restrictions because everything is done now with the energy consumption of the car. So it's a self-policing uh, uh, situation. But now we have a four liter, it's a bit more torque, and obviously uh, more power is an option for the car. But we, again, we're striving to run it in a very, very efficient way. Um, and it's, uh, it's just uh, it's a refinement of what we've seen previously. Along with the four liter engine, we have a seven speed gearbox, which is the first time we've had a seven speed gearbox. It has an all carbon case, an all carbon external case and so forth. Very, very light, very, very strong, very narrow. Um, the Audi engineers have done a fantastic job of maximizing the performance of the gearbox while minimizing its dimensions and its weight. Um, it's really quite a remarkable piece. Well, this car is labeled as a Quattro, which means it is all-wheel drive because it's driving the front wheels. This is a situation where we're harvesting energy from the front wheels. We're also putting the energy back into the car by driving the front wheels, which makes it a Quattro. This also gives us an opportunity to balance the car by how much drive is going to the front and how much drive is going to the rear. And by using these two elements together, we can create a balance for the driver, which he can actually adapt to situations, which include you know, track condition, tire wear, weather, various other things like that. So it's, uh, it, it's a quite a, a good system because we have very, very strong control over all four wheels.